hello my beautiful collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always i appreciate all of your support um let's go ahead and get right into what in the name of source is going on here so we have a queen of wands um this is someone that went to seek some type of counseling from um another energy so she could have gone to maybe a psychiatrist or maybe went to a practitioner to get some type of advice there involves some type of love connection she had with someone this is someone that's trying to hold on desperately to a masculine energy that she has been using for finances this is someone that sees this masculine as a couch a, a cash cushion whatever they call it you know those gold diggers that use people use men for money yes one of those uh, so anyways um this woman when she went to this uh advisors this wise man wise woman whoever she went to she did not like what she heard. She was not happy about what they told her about her future, what she can expect to be happening. Um, it is being told to her that this masculine will be leaving her and going to start a new life. And it doesn't necessarily have to be with a new woman, but he's just moving on with his life because this woman is someone extremely imbalanced mentally, emotionally. We're not here to judge her, but this is someone that needs some type of professional and medical help, but she has been refusing to get it over the years. This is someone that's very much into her beauty, very uh superficial. Um, she thinks that her beauty is all that's needed for men to feel fulfilled with her, but uh, obviously that's not right. That's not true. Um, that's a little bit being of a, a shallow and small-minded. Um, this woman is heartbroken because she was told that she's going to have to move on with her life because this masculine is leaving um really quickly uh this is for a masculine if you were in a house and this house mysteriously burned down or cut on fire it is something that was done by the woman you were trying to leave or are trying to leave or for a masculine out there this is a warning for you there is a woman out there trying to cut, uh, put your house on fire because you're trying to leave her uh, or because you left her. Um, there are some things in your house that this woman either stole or is going to steal. Um, so if your house mysteriously catches on fire, it is the person you are leaving or you left. Um, okay, that's for a specific masculine. Um, so this woman was told that she is going to have to move on. Um, someone may be trying to run um, away from where they are, like move to a city, a new state, a new town, new country, because they have some legal matters coming in for them. It's like someone took a lot of actions behind the scenes to violate other people's privacies and things like that. It's like she was set on presenting people in lights that did not fit them. It's like someone trying to prove to a masculine that the choice that he has made in life and in love is not the right one, and she's the right one, and he needs to stay with her, even though the relationship is extremely toxic. She thinks that he should stay. You see, we have the devil car out here. Uh, so this is a very toxic relationship. And at some point, this masculine could have indulged into some toxic behavior as well with this woman. Because if you've been with someone for so long, you start adapting to some of the things they are doing, acclimating yourself to some of their toxic behaviors. But this masculine is wanting to turn a new leaf and move on with his life. This queen of wands may be wanting to take some type of drastic action to come in towards the queen of cups to pick some type of fight. Tell her not to get with this masculine that if she does, it's going to be a really a horrible thing for her that he's a... He's, uh, 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 toxic, he's this, he's that, he's controlling, he's not someone to be with. But then you have to wonder if he was so horrible, why was she with him for all those years? Why was she dating him? Why did she stay with him? Why did she agree to move in with him? We have to ask all of these questions when people come to us with news about other people, okay? Um, so this is something that she may be planning to do is to come in, take action towards you. This woman may want to fight you as well. This is someone extremely fiery. She has a lot of pimped up energy that she does not let go of this is someone holding a lot in uh she may have had some type of uh toxic up upbringing and she has this superficial mindset that everything is supposed to be about her uh she thinks that she is a two-piece in a biscuit whatever that is this is just a woman that's very self-centered very shallow egotistical a narcissist this is a text text uh book narcissist if there ever was one this is it. Um, but she's very controlling. Uh, like her energy is just so 
heavy, extremely heavy. Um, this woman is not necessarily heartbroken that this uh, relationship is over. She's more so heartbroken that she will no longer have access to the resources this masculine can provide her. Um, as I said, go digger, <clears throat> go digger alert. Um, anyways, so she wants to come in, take action towards you, cause you some type of manipulation. She wants you conflicted about starting a brand new passionate beginning with this man, starting a new chapter with him. You may not even know either of these people or you don't know the feminine, which is really interesting for a lot of you. You don't know this queen of wands. You've never met this woman. You don't know her name, don't know what she looks like, but something about you just is intimidating about her. Um, it's one of those like childish high school uh, situations where when we are dating a guy and then he leaves us for another girl in high school, now we have to stalk him and we have to figure out, well, what is so good about her that I don't, that I don't have? What does she have that I don't have? I'm prettier than her. She's not that pretty. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is someone with some type of false persona. Like she doesn't know how to be herself because she was never thought how to be herself, how to embrace herself, how to accept and love herself for who she is. Um, because she was groomed and programmed to focus on her beauty uh, her body, all of that. Uh, so this could be someone that's into plastic surgery. This could be someone that's very superficial for lack of a better term. Uh, but she sees you, you're coming up as a queen of cups. This woman may have had some type of, uh, underestimation when it comes to you. She thought you're going to be someone she could just pick on or someone just, you, she could flick off, um, get rid of you. This woman has been doing things in the background to interfere with your life, your forward movement, your connections and things like that. Even you could connecting with this masculine, this woman may have been doing things in the background for some of you. And for some of you, this masculine has not even contacted you, has not even made a move towards you. This is just someone focusing on healing and moving on with his life away from this toxic Jizzy Bell. But she thinks that you and this masculine has something going on when you really done. This is how the minds of the karmics work. Um, when they have gone unhinged, logic runs out the door and everything that stays is just chaos chaos and chaos so this woman wants you feeling mentally conflicted she doesn't want you making the right decision she wants you to feel like you ending this old chapter of you being single and being in life by yourself um, is how you're supposed to stay when it comes to this masculine you should ask you, sh you should absolutely not entertain him in any way shape or form and this is because she wants another opportunity to manipulate this masculine um, to get back with her. She wants to reunite things with her about a year ago, which is really historical. I kept seeing a woman that kept crying and every time a man was trying to leave her, and this is uh, my vision. Every time a man was trying to leave her, she would start crying like these big crocodile tears, you know, nose running, eye red, all of eyes red and all of that, wiping her eyes with the back of her hand, all kinds of stuff. And she would pull off tricks and then they ma this mask masculine we end up staying back with her so this has been a long cycle because i've been seeing these people in my vision for over a year now and i'm not sure why i keep seeing them hopefully this is not something that pertains to me because honey i am a lone wolf i don't entertain people right now so i don't know this is just interesting that i keep seeing these these two people the masculine is trying to leave and she starts crying, playing victim, playing sad and all of that. And then he falls back into her trap and it's a toxic cycle that has been going on for a long, long time. Okay. Um, so when you end this chapter, this man ends this chapter, you two will be moving forward. Um, <laughs> I know she, if you're watching honey, darling, sweetheart, uh, sorry to tell you, but this man is going to be moving on with someone else because you are not helping heal this masculine you're not breathing life into him in any way shape or form when we are with our partners we're supposed to breathe light into them sometimes they are at their hundred percent and sometimes they are not and we're supposed to step in and complete the hunt complete them to a hundred percent so if your partner is ha partner is having a bad day then you step in to brighten their day and make them laugh you know, tell a, a corny joke or something just to reaffirm to them that everything is going to be okay. But this is not this type of woman. This is the woman where everything is about her. If she's hurting, she wants you to take care of her. But when you're hurting, 
who cares? Um, but you, you should be confident that, you know, you're moving forward in life. You that is watching this video or whoever this resonates with, you are closing a chapter. This woman is closing a chapter, whether she wants to or not. Um, she's starting a new one, a toxic one. Hopefully she'll make uh, take uh, uh, actions to start healing, but I highly doubt it because of what I'm seeing about this woman. This is someone extremely mentally unstable, but there's a chapter ending. Uh, someone is taking charge of their life. They are looking things over, uh, kind of just reflecting over the, their life and seeing how things have been going for the past years that they've been with this woman, uh, you know, they're just kind of deciding, you know what, I am making my decision to move forward. So this masculine is ending a chapter with this woman and he's confident in the decision that he's making to move forward with you. Okay. Or to give you an offer for some of you, you have some type of financial offer that is coming in and it's going to be from this masculine because he's aware of some type of trickery that may have taken place that interfere with your finances. So you may not be as abundant as you're supposed to be right now. And this masculine is aware of that. So he wants to come in and kind of give you some type of assistance. Um, okay. Uh, for some of you, this woman went to the extent of paying people behind the scenes to undercut you, to betray you, contacting family members and friends, exes, people you barely even knew, people you work with. This woman was paying people behind the scenes to cause you some type of betrayal, steal from you, block you, right? Um, and you were in your queen of pentacles energy and this caused you some type of loss, but you are getting everything bad that the, en that the enemy stole from you, right? There is some type of waiting period right now where you will have a lot of abundance coming in, but right now spirit is working things out out for you in your favor in your good so just be patient things will be turning around don't you worry um but you know let's say summer there's going to be some type of change in your life um that is going to be really eye-opening you you will not be expecting it but it all has to do with this toxic cycle ending this woman wanting to come towards you is not a is a no-go this is not someone that can be in your energy because the universe is very protective of who can be in your energy this woman is blocked right so she's doing things behind the scenes paying people and even the people she's paying cannot come into your energy you're going to have some type of success in business with this masculine as well someone may have wanted to come in and cause you some type of illusion but they're being forced to walk away this is someone that's being guided by the universe to find some type of higher purpose in life get in touch with their spiritual side because this is someone that has been living a superficial lifestyle for some of you, this is this masculine that's been forced to go through some type of awakening because he has been living uh, in a shallow shadow of himself, right? Not really who he is. So this is someone that's meant to be high vibrational, but because of the type of people he's been dating, the people he surrounds himself with, self with, um, he has not been vibrating at his level. Uh, so this could be like an angel uh, in flesh, but he has not been living as what he is because he has been so uh, uh, captivated by the beauty of this woman. Uh, and sometimes people get comfortable in the relationships that they're in. So even though it's a toxic one, they will hold on to it for as long as possible because they don't want to have to start over. And that is an unhealthy mindset to have because the longer you stay with karmic and toxic people, the more karma you are accumulating, the more you're holding your life back, the more you're blocking blessings from coming into your life because there are blessings in your life that God will hold back. And until you separate yourself from certain people, you will not receive those blessings because God don't want them having access to what it is they are blessing you with. Okay. Uh, so there is something here where she, this woman really just wants to come in and take some type of action. Like she, she has some type of disgust for you. Like this woman has a lot of anger within her and it's the, and at the bottom of the, at the bottom end of the day it really has nothing to do with you because you've never done anything to this woman this is just someone that is unhealed and they are not necessarily doing the things that they need to do in order to heal 
So for example, this may be someone that knows that she's mentally not balanced, needs help. She will go to a psychiatrist, but everything the psychiatrist is telling her, she's not doing. Like maybe a psychiatrist tells her to do A, B, C today so that she can start making progress. When she leaves that office, she's not doing any of that. This could even be someone that has like a crush on their psychiatrist or their counselor and they're heartbroken because they're finding out that the counselor or the psychiatrist does not see them in their light because it's a professional relationship. Kudos to that person. It is just really eerie. This is someone that lays around with people because this is her where her confidence lies. Um, if she can captive, captivate or capture a masculine and sleep with him, then she feels beautiful about herself. She feels validated. We're not here to judge her because I know there are beautiful women out here that just do not know themselves and don't realize that there is more to them than, you know, their physicalities and things like that. Um, so this is just where this woman is right now in her stage of healing. Uh, so we're not going to judge her. We're just going to send her a lot of positive energy and hope that she can find healing someday. But coming for you is just not the be needs that's going to be taking place um so anyways um someone wanted to come in to cause you some type of illusion they're being told to walk away it's not happening spirit does not play about you uh, you are someone that's very divinely guided and protected you have a high purpose in this world uh, you are a blessing you're someone pure you are the truth this woman was pretending to be you at some point but the truth is has been exposed that you are the true star uh, okay um yeah she's watching you this woman has people watching you and you may not even know it uh, on social media in your real life in some way shape or form this woman has people watching you she's kind of stuck on you uh, this is like let's say for example if you have a social media platform this is the first person to watch your content when it is released so she has this set to send her notifications and things like that so it immediately when your content is released she can watch it she can see what's going on um, and she's taking it personal anything you say or do she is applying it to herself and you know how in tarot we always say please take what applies and leave the rest to fly. This is not someone that does that. She thinks every video that someone posts or, or readers post is about her. And it's like, readers don't even know you. We don't know you. So how are we going to be reading about you when we don't even know you in the first place? Make it make sense. But this is that type of person. This woman is stern on coming in to cause some type of fight with you, with you, but they know you are with the BS because you will cut her off in a heartbeat. You will put her in her place. She has some type of ending coming in to play as well. And this is something she was intending for you. She wanted to send some type of King of Cups in to cause you this illusion, make you feel like he was genuinely interested in you. But honey, this is not it. This is someone she's sleeping with as well. This is one of her boy toys whatever she wants to call them. This person was supposed to come in and trap you in order to block your forward movement, keep you in some type of mental imprisonment and things like that just to, you know, keep you feeling stuck in life, right? But that's not what happening. You are moving forward. There could be a king of cups in here that is facing some type of legal consequences, maybe going to jail as well, or is just mentally trapped by actions he took against you. Uh, so this is someone that's maybe having a hard day as well. She may have betrayed this king of cups. So maybe they were partners in crimes and she betrayed him, snitched on him, did something, and now he's trapped in something he involved himself in that he should have never involved himself in. Lord Jesus, is so much going on with these karmics. When will they calm down? Like, calm down, darling. Calm down, darlings. Anyways, you are moving forward in life, Queen of Cups. Um, there is absolutely nothing people can do to block your forward movement. The wheel is moving in your in your uh, favor. Balance is being brought into this situation. Uh, you may have been, you know, uh, having to protect yourself there for a while, stand your ground, things of that nature. And this is what your spirit was, spirit guide, your angels, your ancestors were guiding you to do. They want you to know that you have absolute, absolutely no reason to live in fear, right? Something um, I need to mention, uh, a few days ago, I had a vision. Someone went to like a gang member to order a hit on someone else. And I saw the gang member that she went to. This was like an average height guy. Uh, he wasn't fair skin, but he was a caramel complexion, had tattoos all over his stomach and he had like blue shorts on, but the blue shorts were a little bit below his underwear. Um, and he was just standing there. He wasn't like really built or anything. He was just average height, average size. 
average uh, size. Um, he had like a flat stomach. Um, I would say like maybe a six pack, but it wasn't really well pronounced. Um, but she was talking to him and, you know, trying to get him to come do something to a feminine energy, um, a star C. Honey, don't do that, sir. If you are watching this video, you'll be throwing your life away. Um, this woman, there's something she's not telling you that's coming for her and you're going to involve yourself in it. So if someone hire you, I'm guessing this is a, a CRIP member, honey. Um, <clears throat> because I saw the blue shorts, but sir, whoever you are, do not get yourself involved with what is going on with this woman because this woman has an ending coming for her that has been predicted to her. She has gone to readers. She has gotten confirmation of what's ahead of her and she's trying to prevent it, but it's not something that can be prevented. Um, okay. There is something in here about a child. It could be that maybe this woman had a child with this masculine to trap him, or she may have gotten pregnant by someone else and was pretending like the child was this masculine, but there is something in here about a child. And I don't really want to go too much into that because I don't really like to touch on children topics and things like that. That's not what I'm here for. Um, but you are protected. This masculine, there's something going on with his finances where he's having to protect his finances for this woman because this is someone extremely greedy. Uh, this could be someone that he was married to. So she may be trying to take him for all of his finances and what he's worth trying to steal from him. Um, for some of you, this is just someone he was dating for a long time. Um, and maybe he's even taking her to court to get money back. Uh, let's say for the person I mentioned that house was burned down by that young woman or whoever it was, let's say like she did the same to this masculine. He's probably possibly taking her to court to get his money back. But this masculine is protecting himself from this woman. He's keeping his distance. Let's see how far apart these two are. <laughs> They might as well be like universes away from each other. This is how far this masculine wants to be away from this woman. And I don't think she realizes it. I don't think he's repulsed by her, but I think he's just done with this woman because he knows that things are just not going anywhere with her. Um, like things have run their course. Um, it's not going anywhere. There is a union coming in between uh, this person and a star energy. So that would be you, my collective, that this masculine may be con uh, connecting to. This person wants to build with you, celebrate with you. This person sees you as a very hardworking person. This is someone of angelic energy. Um, but like I said, they haven't been residing in their energy because of the person they've been dating and the people that have been surrounding them who, uh, and these people have been gatekeeping this person for a long time and maybe he's just now becoming aware of this but you have been working really hard for a long time star c crystal child indigo child whichever title you go by um you've been working for a long time and you haven't seen the harvest of your labor right you haven't seen the payoff because there's something malicious that has been going on behind the scenes people have been blocking your forward movement but the work you are doing is being protected by the most high do not feel discouraged you are going at the pace that you are going for a reason. And when you get to where you're supposed to be, you will reflect back on where, you, how far you came and you will appreciate your journey. I know that's not something you want to hear right now, but that is the honest truth. So just stick to your journey, stick to your path, no matter how hard it is. And believe me, if I'm telling you that, trust me, honey, honey, I know what I'm talking about because honey, the... Who the trying I've been going through in my life for the past two years, it has been trying, but I am committed to my healing, uh, my healing journey and my definition uh, channel. So I am going to keep moving forward. As some of you know, there are people trying to uh, delete my content, get rid of my channel and things of that nature. But by the grace of the most high, I will be here providing content to help you all and myself heal as time goes on. So it is what it is. We're going to let the karmic karmic while we keep healing and elevating in life. Okay. You are protected. This person, this is the energy that they are supposed to be in, but they've been trapped in this energy for a long time and they are putting an end to it so that they can have a brand new passionate beginning with you right so this is what this person would like to be and they know that when they connect with you or they work with you because this is 
for some of you, this is how this partnership is going to start um, initially. It's going to be a work opportunity where you two will be working together. You'll get to know each other, become fond of each other. You will be healing uh, each other as well. And as time goes on, you will develop a very strong bond between each other um, where you will be able to heal and move on into a relationship that will be long lasting but this person is trapped in something it's like it's like someone wants to also trap you in some type of toxic union but spirit is not having it and this person is experiencing some type of ending this could be this king of cups that they were trying to send towards you to cause you some type of illusion it's just not happening okay you are still having your brand new passionate beginning you still will be a uh, uh, partnering up with someone and you still will be having your ten of pentacles um as you are due to have so don't you worry about a thing i'm not a not i'm not the best singer actually i'm one of the worst singers you ever come across but honey don't you worry about a thing anyways that's all we need for today as far as my uh uh entertainment <laughs> efforts i don't plan on quitting my day job so let's stay <laughs> let's stick let's stick to divinations okay um but this queen of wands is closing a chapter you too you are closing a chapter to begin a new one she is being forced to walk away uh, to find healing hopefully she will commit herself to that as a lot of us have committed ourselves to our healing journey um but you are closing a chapter um, in order to get into a divine union with this masculine that's going to be absolutely bountiful. Um, so just know that you have a lot of blessings coming your way no matter what the situation may look like for you right now. Uh, someone is going within about a situation or something that was presented to them. They may be finding out that someone has been lying to them for many years and things of that nature. And they are seeing the truth for what it is. They're seeing the truth about you. Someone is asking advocating for you now um this may be someone that was against you in the past but because the truth has been revealed to them they are now seeing the truth about you you are a star see you are someone that's very beneficial to have around this person may be believing that you two have some type of soul contract as well so they are trying to make things right for you uh and for the two of you because this person wants to have a future with you um and that juicy bell is absolutely heartbroken about this masculine choosing to connect with you communicate with you and things like that um someone may be trying to pick a fight with you on social media and you're not even paying them any mind or someone may be calling you texting you sending you emails that are like really unprofessional and just immature and you're not responding and they are throwing a fit about that behind the scenes someone is realizing now that you, there's nothing they can do to block your forward movement you are still moving forward because this is something divinely guided by spirit uh, so you are moving forward in your life. You're moving on, right? You're sailing onto calmer waters and things of that nature. Madame is being forced to sail to calmer waters as well if she chooses. But if she chooses to keep doing the shenanigans that she's doing, um, well, it's not going to end up very well for her. Her future has been predicted to her. So she does know what the role is that lies ahead of her. That is her cup of tea, cup of tea to sip. We're not sipping it with her because we have our own cup of tea to sip around here. And those teas, those cup of teas are heavy um, by themselves. So we don't need to <laughs> in our hands. <laughs> uh, so you can expect uh, some type of turnaround in your future as well. Um, this woman, there's like some type of effort behind the scenes. And I don't know if it's just her or there's like a whole group that has been paying people to just cause you some type of distress some type of ending betrayal like these people have been extremely committed for some of you you have multiple people coming after after you um they're paying people to stalk you people to follow you people to violate your privacy things of that nature but you are protected you have a guardian angel that does not play about you um for example my ancestors of the light honey sometimes you'll forget if you mess around with me um you may think that they are of the dark, but no, honey, they just don't play around. So that is just how some of you are. Your ancestors just do not play about you. The universe cherishes you because you are someone making an effort in the world to heal other people, heal yourself, make a difference, raise the vibration of the planet, things of that nature. So you are absolutely cherished. Um, so whoever wants to take this action towards you, honey, they're being sat down. They're being heavily advised not to do that. They are not being allowed in your energy because it's going to backfire 
heavily and really bad against them. And this is a King of Cups showing up in that energy. I'm so disappointed because King of Cups are people that are supposed to be genuine, compassionate, intuitive, uh, nurturing, right? Just, sir, 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 you are disappointing us. Anyways, this King of Cups is trapped in something that he got himself involved in. He could have received some type of payout from someone to do something to you, um, and now he's buying that to him to her, and he has to fulfill his uh, his contract. He has a, a, a responsibility to fulfill his contract, and you have a responsibility as the star C to fulfill your purpose. Your purpose is grander than his contract with this Jesse Bell. So, honey, we already know how this is gonna end. Uh, Queen of Cups. You're showing up here in a lot of energy. You're taking control of your life, focusing on your finances and things like that. Someone wanted to trap you. Someone wanted to cause you an ending, but you're putting an end to all those old ways of what people are doing. You're not worried about them. There's an ending coming. You're putting an end to something to start a new beginning. Uh, and it's absolutely okay. This is part of life. This is the cycle of life. One thing has to end for another thing to begin. One door closes as another one opens, right? The sun sets down on one uh, uh, day and it rises on the next day, right? So that's the cycle of life. Do not live in fear, hesitation, or rejection because something is ending for you. Uh, you will be just a okay. The universe only takes things from you when they have better for you, okay? Uh, so judgment has been caught in this into this situation. You are someone extremely innovative, creative. You have a lot of abundance and opportunities up ahead for you. Someone does want to work with you in business because they know you are so creative and innovative as well. Um, someone is just waiting for the perfect time, the perfect opportunity to approach you so that you two can move forward in working together and have this brand new passion in the beginning. Someone is taking a risk on you. Someone is defending you behind the scenes, right? They're taking a lot of hit for you. Uh, they're standing up for you because they're seeing the truth about all the actions these karmics were taking. It's like I just get a lot of envy, a lot of jealousy. It's like a whole group are jealous of one person that has never done anything to them. Like you are just living your little old life, blase, blase, not thinking of these people, not worried about them, not bothering them. But they are worried about you and your day, their day consumes, it's, they, their day consists of you, even though you're not there, right? You consume their entire day. You're the hot topic, the lame topic, all the topics in between, before, after everything. You are the topic, honey, of these people's lives, right? And this mental conflict they wanted to cause you, this illusion and things like that, you're not here for it. You are keeping your distance from these people. They are being kept away from you so they can, they can only do things behind the scenes. But they cannot come into your energy because how the energy is set up, the meaning these people decide they're going to come towards you to cause you some type of harm, car accident, sickness, disease, uh, unemployment, uh, being pulled over by the police. There's all types of blockages spirit is putting in place to make sure these people don't come in your energy. Uh, it's like they just wanted you stuck, wanted you unfruitful, wanted you just barren. For some of you, they just did not want to see you happy or prosperous, but this is exactly what spirit is going to give you, and you have your ten of, ten of pentacles. Have a blessed day.